أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا رب يشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني فهو غولي صلى الله على نبي الله عبد الله رسول الله محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم أما بعد This video first of all I want to invite you today إن شاء الله تعالى this lesson we're going to talk about the reality about Yajuj and Majuj as you know it Yajuj and Majuj in English Gog and Magog are one of the major signs from the Judgment Day and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us many times what's going to happen at the very end day of this uh, of of our lives or the history. Oh, uh, as you know, but also it has been mentioned in the Quran two times. One time in Surah Al-Anbiya, the Prophets, and another time in Surah Al-Kaf, the, the, the people of uh, Kaif, about the Ajuj and Majuj. And it's very important that Muslims understand the reality of the Ajuj and Majuj. So today, what I'm going to show you is the most relevant or most important hadith from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, that explaining the chronological order or I actually made it order uh, what I think it was the first hadith or the at the beginning of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying or hadith about the Ajuj Majuj. So I took the, the three most uh, three or four hadiths most importantly to show you that uh, which one was the first hadith about the about Gog and Magog or Yajuj and Majuj, and the second one and so and so and so and so. So inshallah, I'm not. Uh, let me do a little disclaimer. I'm not. I'm not actually. I'm not claiming to be best scholar of Yajuj and Majuj, but. Nevertheless, I did try my best. I really investigate a lot. One thing I one one thing I believe helped me a lot was I know a lot of European history, especially the European tribes, their origin, how are they related to each other in general. I know a lot of European tri uh, tribal history. And being saying that also I I spend a lot, many years about the reality of learning Yajuj and Majuj. In previous books of Elu Kitab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, uh, it, they, it, it has been mentioned about Gog and Magog, that actually people of the book, as we call it in Arabia, Elu Kitab, they corrupted everything. And you cannot tell the reality or the real one from fiction, or just, uh, you know, they all messed up. They really, they really messed up. So there is not much we can learn from them. But everything about the Ajuj and Majuj is in our religion, is in the Quran, and also is the most clearly Hadith, and also the early Muslims and medieval Arab travelers. Did you know that medieval Arab travelers like Ahmed ibn Fadl? Uh, and so Al Maghdisi and so many others, they were actually telling us that the people of Caucasus area, the Caucasus area, the southern Russia, the in that area, what today we call like from Ukraine to the northwest, uh, Turkey to the south, in between, east to the Pacific, like northern China. Mongolia, Southern Russia, Korea, all of those areas, the medieval Arab writers and travelers who were the best researchers of their time called those areas people of Yajuj and Majuj, people of Gog and Magog. But actually, we lost that knowledge after the fall of the last Arabic Caliphate, which was Abbas, Abbasid. After we lost Abbasid, al Abbasiyun in Arabic, we lost everything because the people of Seljuk, the forefathers of Ottoman Empire, overthrown the last Arabic uh, caliphate from Baghdad. And then since then, they may, they actually deleted the Ajuj Majuj information because 
the as we're gonna learn today, inshallah ta'ala, the the Seljuks were a part of original Yajuj Majuj, but they became Muslims. And I want you to remember this also. It doesn't matter what was your forefathers, it doesn't matter what they were, but the most important thing is that you are as a Muslim, you have to be good Muslim. So it doesn't matter whether your father was kafir or Muslim, disbeliever or believer, the most important thing is to yourself. And remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called uh, Prophet Ibrahim his friend. And as you know it, Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Ibrahim, Ibrahim is father mentioned in his name in the Quran, which was Azer, was one of the worst disbelievers Allah told us in the Quran. And yet Allah made his son, his friend, and one of the uh, top prophets, Uli al-Azmi. So it doesn't matter whether you were a suspected or you are a descendant of original, the most important is that you are a Muslim. So Yajuj Majuj, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that they are from third son of Prophet Noah and his name was Jabet in English, in Arabic was Yavis. I also want you guys, I really want to apologize. I have since my English is not my native language and I have a little bit heavy accent uh, accent. Maybe sometimes you, you may watch video slowly or you know just uh, just uh, if you're really interested about your juju majuj, you can watch this video a couple times. Like myself, whenever I, I want to learn something, I go back that video or lesson and I reread and rewatch and rewatch until I grasp and deeply understood everything. So moving on. So Yajuju Majuj, this tribe came from the third son of Prophet Noah, Yafis. And Yafis is the father of, I want you to remember this, the Caucasian people, the light-skinned Europeans, and light-skinned Asians, especially Oriental, such as starting from South, like Vietnam, Nepal, all the way to uh, China, both Koreas, Japan, all of that, they're part of descendant or, or offspring of Yavis or Jabet. So, but the other Southeast Asian, like uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Burma, uh, Philippines, those areas, they're actually offspring between Oriental. Uh, between Oriental and Chabitic or from Yafis and Indians. You can see brown skin Asians are actually from both from uh, mixed races from Indians who were original Indians were Hamitic people. They were related people of horror of Africa and ancient Egyptian. So and also remember that not everybody in Europe, Europeans, is actually a Juju Majuj because there were, a, uh, there were several other sons who were not original part of a Juju Majuj, but actually, as we're going to learn today, in numerical, a Juju Majuj overtook everything. And I will, I will, I believe that 90% of Europeans are originally descended from a Juju and Majuj. At the same time, uh, the Chinese, you know, uh, as, as you know, Chinese. 95% of Jainists are what ethnic group called Han Jainists. So basically, we can see that the majority of, of, uh, of Oriental are actually Ajiji Majuj. So then we're going to learn that what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the beginning about the Ajiji Majuj, how Prophet saw after their release, and what Prophet said in the middle of their Ajiji Majuj rulership, and then at the very end, when Prophet Isa alayhi salam descend down, come back to earth, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy Yajuj Majuj after Prophet Isa alayhi salam or Jesus killed the Antichrist or the Jal. And then the last hadith will be in Day of Judgment when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Adam to bring forward his children who are displeased for his dad are going to hellfire. And we're going to see the real number of that. I want you to remember that the Muslims, 
of of um, in this world they say like very close to eight billion, as they told us. I'm not sure, but at least seven billion, right? So at least the one point five billion are Muslims, it's close to two billion. So five billion is are disbelievers. And we're gonna learn also that. So let's move on and see all those hadiths that like I said, the most important and revealing hadith or saying from Prophet Muhammad, we're gonna see about uh, about Yajuj yeah, Majuj. Let's start. This we're gonna learn is it was narrated from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Gog and Magog, Gog and Magog, dig every day until when, until when they can almost see the rays of the sun, meaning they're digging the wall, and they they somehow make the bridge or they make a hole and they see the sunlight coming out the other side from the wall, sun ray. So Prophet continues Allah says, the one in charge, their boss or their foreman, their leader, the one in charge of them say, says, go back and we'll dig it tomorrow. Then next day, then Allah puts it back stronger than it was before. This will continue, means it's just a continue cycle. Every, every, every day they dig, they make a little hole until they see the sunlight from the other side. Then this guy or their leader will say, let's go back uh, our houses, you know, their daily life and come back tomorrow. And when they come back next day, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repaired, repaired and everything came back the way it was the previous day. Until when their time has come and Allah wants to send them against the people, they will dig until they almost see the rays of the sun. Then the one who is in charge of them will say, go back and we'll dig it tomorrow if Allah wills. So they will say, if Allah wills. Then one day they will say, inshallah, if Allah wills, then they will come back to it and it will be as they left it, it means it has big hole on it, remember. This day is the day Yajuj Majuj will be able, where well, this day was actually, let's say, was the day they were able to make big hole, to bridge the hole. So basically every day after they, they coming back, they coming back, okay, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, remember this is Wahi, this is, this is revelation from Allah. So the Prophet told us only what he knew at the time. So this is, I believe, is the first hadith of Yajuj Majuj or Gogon Megag from the Prophet. And then uh, then they will come back as they left it on means previous day, means it's open. So they will dig and will come out to the people. See? After they, they have been trying, we don't know how long, how many months, how many years. The last uh, the, a day before they dig, a, a day before they dig, actually, their leader will say, Inshallah, if, if Allah wills, we'll come back tomorrow and finish off. They come back next day, they already finished off the wall, they already breached, and then they just keep, uh, keep digging, keep breaking until they breach. And from that day, and I'm going to show you that day, it's already happened. I'm going to show you evidence, inshallah. So, so they will dig and will come out to the people. Means they'll come other side of Caucasus. And you, you got to remember that. You got to believe that the barrier side was what they call it today between uh, Georgia and Bor uh, border of Georgia and Russia. There is a big giant monte called Monte Cosbeck. And that monte, it's a, that monte beneath, it's a river called Treg. And Treg is a word that come from people of Hungarian language. Remember, Hans are people from, uh, people from original Mongolia. So Hungary, it's a between uh, Turkic tribe called Magyaris. 
and another tribe called Hanis. You know, Hanis the Attila, his people, they still have their they still have their language. So you can see that the name Trek, it's it's Hungarian name, means the Hanis were present in that place. And we're gonna know, we're gonna see inshallah who broke the barrier. So uh to the people, and they will drink all the water. That means Yajuju Majuj will almost drain all the rivers on earth. I don't know if it's a, an irrigation or some of the usage. This hadith, it's actually, it's not when the, you got to understand that the, the drain in the water or drinking the water, it's not, it's not, it's not going to take like a few hundred years ago, a few hundred years, within a few hundred years or a few months, it's going to be at least a thousand years. So Prophet saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after they released, they will, people will uh, fortify themselves. They're gonna, this is the initial release. People will uh, fortify themselves against them, against the Ajuju Majuj in their fortress. That be, that's the beginning after they came out because everybody was afraid of the south of Caucasus, the other side of barrier. People were used to afraid of them. And then this is this part of the hadith, it's very handy. So after, after World War Three, after Yajuji Majuj destroyed on earth, and you gotta remember that the NATO is the Yajuji Majuj power, military power. Yajuji NATO is a, NATO is Yajuji Majuj. And also you gotta understand that, like I say in the beginning of my, of, of this video, the Chinese are also part of Yajuji Majuj. They were Russians. Their original was Kivian Rus, who were a, uh, a Phrygian or Viking. They were a part of Yajuji Majuj. Everything we see, all the superpowers today, are actually part of Yajuji Majuj. So after they fought each other and, and destroy everything, one of the Yajuji Majuj will be will be victorious and become a winner and will dominate the earth. So Prophet Sallallahu they will say that we have defeated the people of earth and dominated the people of heaven. I really don't know what, what is the people of heaven. Are are some of the are some of the humans like they said we live space like Elon Musk telling us that he's gonna have a big uh, spaceship and he's gonna let the humans go travel somewhere. But remember that uh, the the heaven above us. They cannot go through, actually. But we don't know whether they're going to build some houses on above us, like atmosphere or some areas. But I don't know. These people, they're saying, actually, uh, we dominated the people of heaven. Since they cannot break through the real heaven as Samawat. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a warm. This is the very end of this hadith combined, very beginning of Yajuj Majuj, and the very end of Yajuj Majuj. And then Allah will send a worm in the navies of their necks and will kill them terabyte. They're going to die, all of them. The messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, said, by the one in whose hand is my soul, Prophet is swearing to Allah, the beast of the earth will grow fat on their flesh, meaning the wild dogs, the hyenas, the lions, the beast, the animal beast will eat them their corpses or dead bodies. Okay, that's the first hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he told us the Yajuji Majuji will try digging, digging, and then one day their leader will say, let's come back tomorrow, inshallah, we're going to finish off. And then after they come back next day, everything is uh, as they were left and they will break the, They will break it. So the Prophet didn't know when they broke it. I want you to understand this. This is very important. Prophet told that this hadith that Yajuji Majuj eventually, eventually will break the barrier. So when did they when did they break the barrier? Let's go next hadith. This hadith is narrated by Sayyidina Ibn Umul Mumineen, one of the wives of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sayyidina Ibn Jihash reported that Allah Hobstel, the messenger of Allah, Karab got up from sleep saying there is no being worthy of worship except Allah. 
there is a destruction in store for Arabia because of turmoil, because of turmoil means destruction, which is, is at hand. Then Prophet continues, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, the barrier of Gog and Magog has been, has opened it so much. Do you see this hadith? The previous hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, they will dig, dig, dig until they make a hole, right? And this one, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you want to know Arabic, if you want to know the Arabic, it says, and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, استغيضض من نومه وهو يقول لا إله إلا الله ويل للعرب من شر قد اقترب فتح اليوم من هدم يجوج ومجوج مثل هذه those of you who speak Arabic you can see this so basically the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is telling us has been opened so much means it's, it's not only uh, broken, they actually widely open. They widely open and they were able first time to go other side and to break off everything. And I'm going to show you where it was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said this hadith and at the same time what was happening at the barrier side which is Monte Kasbeg in the middle of in the middle of um, in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the between the east side of it's a Caspian Sea and west side is a Black Sea so that's where where there were a chain of mountain from from uh, from Caspian to the sea and remember the sea uh, the Caspian Sea in the Medi in in early medieval Arabs they call them Bahr al Ghazar the Sea of Kaiser. I'm going to learn who were the Kaiser is where. Remember that. They changed everything in name. So that's where the barrier originally was. And that's where the Tulgarnain, may Allah bless him, built a barrier against the Ajuj Majuj. And that's area where actually between, like I said before, the border of current Russia, southern Russia, very close to uh, southern uh, Russia and Georgia. Those giant mountains only have one bus up to this day. And that's the Monte Kasbek on the river of Tereg. Otherwise, you cannot go. The Soviet Union built, or Russia built a military highway that connected Southern Caucasus to upward to Russia. So that's where they broke. So uh, the Prophet continues, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Gog and Magog has been open so much. And then, Abu Sufyan, remember this hadith, at least eight of Asha, Ashaba, eight of Ashaba narrated this hadith. So this hadith is way, 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 way evidence. So many people narrated from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then Abu Sufyan made a sign, actually Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said sign of 10 with the help of his hand. So Prophet say, Nabi Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said like this, the barrier has been made widely open so much like this, 90 degree, he made it like this. We're going to see another hadith. And then, yeah, or, uh, order to indicate the wide of gap, means it was very wide and really, really open it. The barrier from this hadith does not exist anymore. And I'm going to show you what evidence, what, what has happened. So, uh, and I said, Allah Messenger will be, will we, we be bearish in spite of the fact that there will be a good people among us. There are, ab, there are abon, the Prophet Sallallahu said, of course, yes, of course you will be destroyed, but only when evil predominates. When Al Khabiz and and uh, he is the Arabic, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam basically saying when when the evilness among the Muslims are more than biased people, you will be destroyed among. Them. Okay, so this hadith is showing us that the barrier has been breached at the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I'm going to show you what year was and where Prophet Muhammad was Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
Let's go next, Hadith. Narrated Ibn Abbas, Abdullah Ibn Abbas. Allah Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam performed tawaf around the Kaaba while riding his camel. And every time he reached the corner of the black stone, he was in Mecca. He pointed at it with his hand and said, Allahu Akbar. And also Saint said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, an opening has been made. In the wall of Gog and Magog, it's a different narration, but same thing. But this hadith has a clue where the Prophet Muhammad was. He said, the wall of Gog and Magog, like this, and this forming ninety, and forming the number 90 with his thumb and index finger, like this. So this is the previous hadith, but it gives us more clue where the Prophet Muhammad uh, وسلم, was this time. The Prophet was in Kaaba. He was in Mecca. He was in Mecca and he was doing Imra and the Wafin or Silk Rain around. So basically, this hadith tells us uh, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was doing Imra when Yajuj Majuj or Gog and Magog broke the wall. And now let me show you what year in Islamic calendar was and what year in Miladi was. It's the same hadith we saw. So this this uh, this year was the seventh year of Hijrah. Uh, and this is how it goes. The first uh, the first pilgrimage of the Umrah, Umrah of of the of the month of Dul Ga'da or Dul Ga'da in Arabic, the pilgrimage of the eleven months, it was uh, Dul Ga'da is the eleven month of the Muslim calendar was the first pilgrimage that Prophet Muhammad and the Muslims made after migration to Medina. It took place on the morning of the fourth day of Dhul Ghada, 70 Hijriya. Do you see, do you see over here? The seventh year of Hijriya, right? And what was the uh, Miladiya or Gregory? Gregorian or European time, it was 629 Common Era or 629 AD. Okay, and this Umrah was after the treaty of Hudaybiyah, which Prophet Muhammad made with the Mushrikun, the bullies, the bullies of, uh, of Mecca. So, the previous year, Prophet made agreement with the uh, people of Mecca. And the next year, Prophet went to Imra, which was 629, on seventh year of Islamic calendar. So basically, what happened? 629, 629 is the when of is the when of is the when of yeah, Majuj actually broke the barrier. And let me show you who broke the wall. The Gog Turkish were among. Powerful empire of that time. We're talking about the very end of Prophet Muhammad's life, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Khazaris who were inhabitant of that of those areas were at that time were a part of Gog Turkis. So Gog Turkis with the Khazaris and the remnant of Hans. Remember, Hans were defeated at that time. Were actually all those Caucasus areas, all those European tribes, all those Caucasus, uh, Caucasian tribes were a part of Gog Turkis. And Gog Turks or, or original homeland is what we call today Mongolia, all the way to east to the Pacific. So Gog Turks with the Khazaris broke the barrier on 629. They crossed that barrier to attack what was Armenia and what's the, uh, Georgia right now. And they were uh, they were assisting the Byzantium, the Byzantium who were in Constantinople, now Istanbul, who, who were at war. With the uh, with the Sassanid Sassan Empire, Sassan Empire, the Persia, so there was war between Persia and and Byzantium, and the Gog Turkis was invited by the Byzantium in order to help them, and the Gog Turkis broke the barrier with their Khazaris and attacked Armenia and uh, 
and Sassanite or Persia from the north, and they're the one who broke the barrier. I hope you understand all of that. Let's go back. Let's go back briefly as hadith to show something. This uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says. He said that uh, uh, he said, "Where the Arab minshar hil qadaq tarafa?" Woe to the Arabs because of evil close by. So, Prophet Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called the. Yajuj Majuj and evil. And he said, Woe to the Arabs. Look over here. Allah, uh, Allah, uh, Allah, Allah Prophet says, There is a destruction in the store for Arabia. And, and, uh, in Arabic, it says, this is said, okay, there is problem with translation to hadith. Let me show you. In Arabic it says, in Arabic it says, Wailun lil Arab min sharril qad ikhtaraba. It says, woe to the Arabs because evil is getting close by. It's getting nearer. It's getting close to. It didn't say Arabia, the hadith. Arabia means the land. But lil uh, Arab, or it's actually people of Arab. So from this hadith, we can see that the Ajuj Majuj have tremendous hatred and hostility toward the Arabs. You gotta remember this. Prophet did not say, we, uh, this, Woe to the Muslims. He says, He said, Woe to the Arabs. He mentioned one of the people of Muslims who are Arabs. So we can see the, that the Ajuj Majuj have tremendous hatred and dislikeness of Arabs. Why is that? Most likely because the Arabs were the last people Allah gave the book, the Quran, and they were the last people who also Allah gave the true religion. So basically, Yajuj Majuf have hatreds of the Arabs because without control in the Arabs, the Yajuj Majuf won't be able to offer and everybody else in the world. So basically, since they Yajuj Majuj Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they hate the Arabs. Let's see if the people we call today Yajuj Majuj, remember the Kaiser, people we call today Israelis are actually way, 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 way much, way higher. 90% of them are from Kaiseris. They call, they call themselves Kaiseris and everywhere. Uh, it's not secret that. So what Israelis is doing to the Arabs today? Do they love them? Do they make them friends with what Bush and his NATO, Yajuj Majuj, did to Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Yemen, all of that. Did they, did they, did they hack them after they invaded them or they destroyed? I'll let you answer that. So Yajuj Majuj have hatreds of the Arabs and Prophet say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he prophesies that. So now we establish that Yajuj Majuj broke the dam, dam barrier at the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you don't believe it, I, I'm just showing you the evidence here. I'm just showing you the evidence. You can decide by yourself. But it's very helpful if you can just listen to me and see what else I'm going to do with it. Okay, let's continue. So now we establish that Yajuj Majuj are broke the barrier by the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then this is the hadith where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was when he was saying this hadith. Very famous hadith. We, uh, Woe to the Arabs, the danger close by or getting nearer, which is the evilness of Yajuj Majuj. So, Prophet was in Mecca and he is the proof he was in Kaaba, right? Okay, let's move on. Narrated by, by Abu Sa'id al Ghudri, Abu Sa'id al Ghudri, the, bro, the Prophet sallam, says, The people will continue performing the Hajj. And Umrah to the Kaaba, even after the appearance of Gog and Magog, narrated, narrated Shu'ba, etc. 
the hour day of judgment will not be established till the Hajj to the Kaaba is abandoned. That's the different hadith means uh, at the time of Yajuj Majuj when they were presently at the land after their after their release after they broke the dam, the Muslims will be able to go Hajj and Umrah pilgrimage to Kaaba normally, no restriction. So since I say the Yajuj Majuj already released. Do Muslims go to Hajj? Yes, we do every day. We, we do every year. Imra every day, anybody wants. And Hajj every year, anybody, anybody, anybody who is able to. So we can see that Hadith, the Muslims are able to go Imra and Hajj as they wish and as they can able to do it. So isn't that true? Do the Yajiju Maju belong to Hajj? Except uh, like uh, 2021. Or 2020. So we can see that this this hadith, this hadith is true. Muslims are able, and the Yajuju Majuj rulership, they are able to go Hajj. No problem. Let's move on. I'm showing you the, all the hadith of Yajuj and Majuj. Okay, this hadith is a little bit longer. It said uh, <clears throat> this hadith show us is going to show us the connection between the jail Antichrist and Yajuj Majuj. Okay, and Nawaz bin Saman reported that Allah Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made a mention of the Dajjal one day in the morning. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sometimes describe him to be insignificant and sometimes described described his turmoil as very significant, and we felt it as if he were in the cluster of the date balm trees. When we went to him, to the prophet, in the evening, and he read the sign of fear on our faces. And he said, the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what's the matter, what is the matter with you? We said, Allah, Allah's messenger, you made a mention of the jail in the morning, sometimes describing him to be insignificant and sometimes very important until we began to think as if he were present in some near, bracket near, means close by. Part of the cluster of the date balm trees. Terabon, he, the Prophet وسلم, said, I harbor fear in regard to you in so many other things besides the jail. If he comes forth well, I am among you, I shall contend with him on your behalf. But if he comes forth well, I'm not amongst you. A man must contend on his own behalf, and Allah and Allah will take care of every Muslim on my behalf. And means and safeguard him against his evil. Uh, he's, he, the jail, will be a young man. Now, Prophet وسلم, describing what the jail look like, look likes. Will be a young man, twisted, contracted hair, and a blind eye. Special right, as you know, other hadith, his right eye is blind. I compare to him Abdul Usa ibn Abdul Usa bin Qatan, one of those Arabs who lived at that time. He who among you will survive to see him should recite should recite over him the opening of verses of Surah Al Kaf. He will he will appear on he 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 means the jail will appear on the way between Syria and Iraq. You know between. What is the nation between on the way to Syria and Iraq, Palestine, or what's now Israel? Are you following this hadith? The jail will be ruling Israel. It's right here. People, people don't pay attention. Will be a beer on way between Syria and Iraq and will be spread mischief to the right and left. All servants of Allah adhere to the bed of truth. We say Allah's messenger. How long will he stay on earth? He, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, 
he said 40 days one day like a year and one day like a month and one day like a week and the rest of the days will be like your days it's very complicated centuries i'm not able to 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 decode this hadith i mean this special part on days i don't know Sheikh Hussein say it, but i don't agree with that but it but inshallah one day may allah give me nur to 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 decode this hadith and to decide inshallah so now we just to continue our reading and then then the prophet says allah alayhi wasallam uh, after he said that the sahaba the people said allah messenger will the one day prayer suffice for the prayers of day equal to one year there upon prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no but you must make an estimate of time and then observe a prayer we said allah messenger how quickly would he walk up on the earth there upon prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said like a cloud driven by the wind that's how fast he is most likely this is airplane he will come to the people and invite them to a wrong religion and they will affirm their faith in him and respond to him he will then give command to the sky and there will be a rain upon remember this is fitna it's a trial upon the earth and it will grow and it would grow grow crops i have been on over here since they create the gmo foods they will they trying to remember that what they call a new world order is basically it's basically it's a very system of the gel and i don't even know i haven't really really studied very well although shah hussein says the jali has been released i believe some way has something to do with these people who run in the world today the globalist the the world economic forum it's very powerful organization based in switzerland i believe that all this system is the the digital central banking system we come in they 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 are working all all of that as part of actually part of the digital system and when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when when the digital appears don't go to him run away i used to wonder what be will going to happen i all talk about the digital one day this is this is this is fitna i will make a special presentation of of the digital one day the system we have today is actually very coarser of the jail it's very close by and what they call it smart city is their building is a jail city and it's the way where a brother muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say say don't leave him go to the uh, countryside you got run away smart city so then and uh, in the earth and will grow crops then in the evening their bastard in animals will come to them with their hamlets very high and their and their urur is full of milk and their flanks is stretched he will then come to the another people and fight them but they will reject but they they will reject him and he will go away from them and there will be the road for them and nothing will be left with them to the form of wealth see it anybody who rejected him will not eat will not have food because digital money will be so controlling so bad if you if you refuse to accept the system you go hunger that's why prophet said go to countryside you got to pay attention you will not have any wealth among the jealous friends he will then walk through the waste land and say to it bring forth your treasures and the treasures will come out and collect themselves before him like the swarm of bees he will then call it person brimming with you and strike him with his sword and cut him into the pieces and make this pieces lie at the distance which is generally between the archer and his target he will then call that young man and he will come forward laughing with his face gleaming with happiness and he will be and he will be at this 
very time that Allah will send Jesus, son of Mary, and he will and he will descend at the wedding midnight in the eastern side of Damascus. I wonder why Israel and its friend is obsessed with Syria. It has something to do with this. Uh, side, east, uh, eastern side of Damascus, wearing two garments, lightly dyed with saffron, and means yellow color, very close or yellowish, and placing his hand on the wing of two angels, when he will lower his head, there will be there will be fall fall beads of perspiration from his head. He the Prophet describes Allah how he looks like his head. His head, and when he will raise it up, beads like barrels will would scatter from it. Every non believer, every non believer would smell. Every non believer who is who would who would who would smell the order of his self will will die, and his breath will reach as far as he would. Be able to see. He will then search for him the 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 gel until he would catch catch hold of him at the gate of Lord and would kill him. That's the outside Jerusalem. Then people whom Allah had had protected will come to Jesus, son of Mary, and will wipe their faces and will inform them of their ranks in paradise. And it will be under such condition that Allah will re will reveal to Jesus that uh, this word is I have brought. Now we're going back to Yajuj Majuj or Gog and Mega discussion. Is this is very important? I'm going to make a little comments over here. Then then uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will reveal to Jesus this words I have brought forth. Forth from among my servants, such as people against whom none will be able to fight. Okay, another bro, another another hadith prophet said Muslims are a very uh, tiny community that time when Jesus comes back, especially that Jerusalem area, that uh, Damascus, Syria area, and some hadith like 800 to 1200. Years. So it's a logic that Yajuj Majuj is, is, is a giant army that uh, Prophet Isa alayhi salam and his companions will will be won't be able to fight but it's not it's not some people say as you imagine muslims cannot fight you can we can fight as long as you have same technology as they do but this is unique situation where muslims are very tiny and your huge armies and uh, and uh, and uh, then we'll be able to fight you none will be able to fight you take these people safely to tour month of uh, Palestine and then Allah will send the Gog and Magog and they will be swarm down from every slope that this is their this is their final see people mix it up the two previous hadith and this hadith this is their last movement of Yajuju Majuj so I believe this time Yajuju Majuj were ruling the earth at least a 2000 couple hundred years I don't know how long from now we go to Nabi Isa, but it's not far. It's not far. I have no, I have no knowledge. Only Allah knows what's hidden. But this is the last movement of Yajuj Majuj on earth. And this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy them. You got to remember that. And you got to remember that. I want you to see this verse is Quran. I got to show you something very important over here. Okay, after... After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let the Yajuj and Majuj let loose and, and break the barrier, this is what happened. This ayah, it's a, it's a verse 99 of chapter 18, Surah Al-Kaf. Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim, wa tarakna ba'dahum yawma idhin yamuju fi ba'din, wa nufiqa fi suri fa jama'nahum jama'a. Allah says, on the day, on that day, the day they break the barrier, we will let them, we will let them surge like waves over, 
one another later the the trumpet will be blown and will gather all of people you can see this ayah yajuju majuj are actually ruling the earth until very close to day of judgment until Nabi Isa comes back. So this ayah is telling us that after Yajiju Majuj break the, uh, the, the the dam which already happened by the very end of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from that day which was 629 this calendar um, uh, Miladi the Gregorian from that day to day all the way to the time of Nabi Isa Alayhi Salam Yajiju Majuj will be ruling earth. Now, what do you know about the, what do you, what do you know about history again? From about the history from the seventh century, everything were fighting. The Muslims were fighting uh, the case, the Caesar Empire, and then after that, the 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 tribe of Yajuju Majuj, they always were coming and coming and fighting and fighting. And one one when whose uh, tribe will come, another one will go, another one will fight, another one will fight, all the way to the time of Isa. Who fought? Do you know do you, do you know who fought World War World War II? All of the Yajuju Majuj, including Japan. Who fought World War One? All the Yajuju Majuj. Who fought in World War Three? The Yajuju Majuj. So Yajuju Gog and Magog will be fighting all the way to the end. So uh, back to uh, an original hadith. And then Allah will, will send the Gog and Magog and they will be swarmed down from the first slope. This is very, uh, the first of them will pass the lake of like, like Tiberia and drink of it. This is the very end of the people who will be immigrating to Israel. They will finish off that lake. Not now. Still, it has some water. And remember, they're part of original Yajuju Majuj. So uh, the drink of, of it and when the last when the last of them will will pass, he will say there was once a war there. Jesus and his companion would then be besieged there at all. And they will be so much hard pressed that the head of the ox will be dearer to them than the one hundred and dinar. I mean it's very expensive. Very expensive at that time because there is nothing else to eat. And Allah always tell Jesus and his companion will supplicate Allah who will, send, who will send to them insects which will attack their neck and in the morning they will be perished like one single person. That's the very end of Yajuju Majuj. So Muslims are really, really stubbornly not believing this. But this is it's not all of Yajuju Majuj. This is the last surge of Yajuju Majuj. This is the large army, the large group of Yajuju Majuj who will destroy the earth. And believe this and I believe this large group of Yajuju Majuj will be Chinese and at least Oriental because the West will be destroyed. And see the current the current the current problem we have in is actually collision court between Russia and the West. The Russia the Christians will destroy themselves just like they did World War II, right? And then the, the Jainists will be ruling the world among with their friend Israel. The state in Israel will rule, will rule the world before the jail because the digital money. They don't have to be super, super, super people, a lot of people, but actually through the financial means, they will be ruling. In case this video is YouTube uh, takes down, you can go ouryusuf.com and you can watch there. So uh, this is just uh, my opinion that this the, the last army of Yajuju Majuju will be Chinese. And it's the Prophet Isa alayhi salam who will destroy the Chinese, not before. Af be actually, they will the one who destroy everything. They will let the uh, uh, NATO and Russia destroy each other and they will pick up the pieces. So this is the basically hadith that Yajuju Majuju will be destroyed by this, this insect-like stuff and kill them off everything and their bodies will off the earth and the wild beasts will, will fade everything and that's all they destroy 
uh, all will be destroyed and earth will be clean again. Okay, let's move to the last hadith. This hadith is a famous hadith. The Prophet says, Allah will say, this is the day of judgment. Allah will say, Adam, Adam, Allah will say, Oh, Adam, Adam will reply, Labek and Sadiq, I respect to you, to your calls. I'm obedient to your, to your orders. Wal khair, fi yadeh, and all the good is in it, your hand is. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to Adam, bring out the people of fire. Adam will say, how many are the people of the fire? Means, how many of them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to Adam, out of every thousand, out of out of every out of every thousand, take out nine hundred and ninety-nine persons. See, every thousand is Allah is telling Adam, take every thousand is out of ninety-nine, nine hundred and ninety-nine. Only one person left, not going to hellfire. And that time, and that time. Okay, nine, okay. Uh, at that time, children will become hoary headed, and every pregnant female will drop her load of an abortion. And you will see, means uh, the problem is really big. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a verses from uh, Surah Al, Surah Al Hajj, I believe. And, and you will see the people ask if they were drunk yet. Uh, all, all this destroyed. All, all uh, you mean is how hardship that day it is. So then, then Ashab, that news of every thousand, nine and nine hundred, nine hundred and ninety nine out of one hundred will go into hellfire. Uh, it's actually I'm I'm making a little bit short uh, as as I uh, expecting that you already hear this hadith, but I want to make a little comment. That news distressed the companion of the Prophet وسلم, too much and they said, Oh Allah, Messenger وسلم, who among us will be that man? The lucky one is of 1000 who will be saved from the fire. He said, have the good news that 1000 will be from Gog and Magog. So the 999 will be people of Gog and Magog. And then, so the majority of people of Gog and Magog, 999 out of 1,000, only one of people of Gog and Magog going to Jannah. 999 out of 1,000 are going to hellfire. So let's see this hadith. Let's, let's see this hadith. In this... In this world, we say that yeah, people of Gog and Magog or Yajiju Majuj are Caucasians. Okay, how many nations of Caucasian and Oriental we have today? We have so many. All the Europe, all of the Americans, or uh, America originally, the, orig originally they were natives, but Europeans over too, right? So we just call people of Jabet or Gog and Magog very close to it. So basically, we see that one, 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 almost 1.5 1. billion Chinese, only like less than 50 million are Muslims. Half of India are originally Gog and Magog, all the Europeans. So only uh, only Africans are 1 billion people, Arab is half million. They are all, all the rest of humanity. So basically, non 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 Chabites, non uh, non Yafis people are actually less than 2 billion people. So I will say that 70% of humans today are Yajuj, Yajuj. And then, and then at least 85% of humans are non Muslims today. So we can see this hadith, this event is correspondent to what's happening today. The majority of humans are not Muslims, and the majority of corruptors are Yajuju Majuj, 
quote originally to be honest. So I'm hoping that at least you understand that the barrier has been broken, has been breached and broke by the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And most Muslims don't believe that they are, they're one of the top Muslim scholar is actually actually are they have financial interest to Yajuj Majuj. Remember all the big bankers, all the big corporations, all everything are owned by West and West is Yajuj Majuj. You can see that. And actually there was tribe of uh, part of original Yajuj uh who used to live that Caucasus areas who name his name was Ashkenaz. He was one of the son of Magog, actually most uh, Nordic people. The Nordic, the Scandinavians are actually directly from Ashkenaz. Don't you see NATO is always part of that? And that Ashkenaz actually half of them became became Jewish and they joined with Kaysaris. And it's what we call now most majority of Israelis are, that's what they are. So Ashkenaz actually, so this European uh, Jewish community are originally part of yeah, Gog and Magog, which is through Kaysaris and through Ashkenaz. So basically, NATO, Russia, China, all of them are original part of Yajuji Majuj. That's it. And remember that from the very from the very end of uh, 12th century, up to the way to the uh, by the time of Prophet Isa alayhi salam. It's the time of Yajuj and Majuj. They rule in Eretz. They own everything. They kill whoever they want. That's what they are. And so basically, try to save yourself from Yajuj and Majuj. And there won't be any Muslim scholars who will <laughs> warn you because most uh, Muslim scholars are actually in bed with Yajuj and Majuj. That's what I'm going to say today. Hopefully, inshallah, you like it. And I apologize, maybe a little bit accent, but I did my best. Inshallah, ta'ala, I ask Allah, all of us, he may forgive us, bless our lives. And we also ask again his forgiveness and his blessing. And may he forgive our sins. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.